This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Samsung Moment for Sprint. This is an Android phone with a slide-out keyboard. It's not so different from, say, phones like the Samsung Impression that we've seen in terms of overall form factor. It has an AMOLED display, which means it's really bright and vibrant. The keys are large and clicky. Good contrast, so you can actually see what you're typing. They are backlit. Close that again. You can see this is running the standard standard Android interface. It's not running Samsung's TouchWiz UI. You can go between your desktops, put your shortcut icons on here, and here are all the programs. I hope you can see just how crystal clear the display is. It's really lovely. The phone's very fast. It has an 800 megahertz processor. These here are touch-sensitive electro electrostatic buttons for the home menu and back. And the call send and end keys are tactile physical buttons. And you've got an optical trackpad here. We'll see how that works on the icons. We can get focus. There we go. Personally, I prefer the trackball that HDC uses on the Hero, but to each his or her own. It has Sprint TV. Right now we don't have very good data connections, so I don't think that's going to work real well. And it's got all the standard Android stuff. You've got your email, your Gmail, your Google Maps, the Android Marketplace, a visual voicemail, photo viewer. Let's see if there's any pictures. Too bad. We'll take a look at the size of the phone. You've got a dedicated camera key here, the voice command button. The back is nice, grippy plastic. Got the 3.2 megapixel camera here with the LED flash, self portrait mirror. Call volume buttons over here. And the ever popular 3.5 millimeter stereo jack for music. The Samsung Moment should be out on Sprint not much longer, and it sells for $179 with a two year contract after rebates. Again, this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Samsung Moment for Sprint.